Welcome back to Pocket NC's Q-Tip Tuesday. I'm Q, and today's tip will allow you to jog your machine with an external controller. Stick around to find out how. For those of you who don't know, the Pocket NC V2 machines can be controlled in a variety of ways using the keys on your keyboard. Most of these are noted under the jogging tab of the configuration page on the UI. There are a few, however, that aren't listed there, so be sure to check the link in the description below for the full list. It'll come in handy later. It is those keyboard jogging functions that we're going to leverage to make a customizable external controller operate the machine. To start off, you're going to need to purchase an external controller like the one we have here. Check the video description below for the exact one we bought. From there, you'll need to determine how many functions the controller can accommodate. This is usually one per button and two per dial. In our case, this controller can be set up to perform nine functions. Next, you can decide what functions you want each button or dial to perform. This is where that list of all the Pocket NC keyboard shortcuts comes in. Finally, using the driver and software that came with your controller, you can assign your keyboard keys to your controller buttons. Since I will mainly be using the controller for edge finding and touch offs, I set it up the way you see here. These are the keys I use most for that process. Now if everything's working as it should, your controller should be able to operate your machine anytime it's plugged into the same computer your machine's plugged into. This addition to your machine can really improve efficiency when operating your machine manually. So I hope this tip gave you the information needed to go out and get your own external controller and add it to your bag of tricks. As usual, if you have any questions about this or anything else Pocket NC related, feel free to reach out. Till next time, happy machining.